My name is Monica Sparks. I am a Kent County Commissioner and a proud Democrat, and I will not be voting for Proposal 3 because it is rooted in genocide, racism, and eugenics. I'm pro-life because to me, it's the right thing to do. Uh, I am a product of the foster care system. I was in foster care system with my identical twin sister. And I tell you, that was not a great time in my life. I don't know where I would be without my forever family or my identical twin sister. Um, I just feel so blessed to have them. And I know that based on them having us, that life is precious and they saved our life. They saved our life. And we're worth saving. We're, 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 we're worth saving. And the vulnerable among us are worth saving as well. They need our support. Look at, you know, the whole history of abortion. We're looking at eugenics. We're looking at genocide. Anytime you say that someone does not deserve to live because they're feeble, they're weak-minded individuals, what are you saying about the human race? The last I checked, we all bleed red. I believe they put a big blanket over it and say abortion is health care. The last I checked, health care does not end lives. Health care helps to continue life and we need real health care, real solutions, real changes so that the African-American community can be empowered. We're not empowered right now, and this is not going to empower us anymore. What is your opinion of proposal three? I personally will not be voting for it because I am a Democrat and I am a whole life Democrat. There are one in three Democrats that are pro-life. And I stand with the 21 million in the country and I will keep standing with them to make sure that I protect the least among us, the most vulnerable. What are the potential political consequences for you in being so outspoken and being so brave? Now I'm running unopposed this term, but next term, I, they could be coming for me. And you know what, it's okay because I'm speaking the truth. The truth is what matters to me. I'm, I, I'm absolutely happy to be serving as a servant leader in my role as a county commissioner, but I'm happier when I can be me to speak the truth.